Hello everyone, we are continuing the first time watch through of the 007 films for the Rookie Critic and starting with the Daniel Craig ones instead of going back with starting with the original, starting with the more modern ones. And I've already watched Casino Royale and I thought that one was pretty decent. I liked it. It was alright. And then I watched Quantum of Solace next and uh, it's a weird one because I think that the film accomplishes most of its things in a good way like it's a decent film for the most part but i don't know like like the way that fight scenes were shot the way that the camera was moving around and a lot of the stuff was fine i guess the plot seemed kind of weak ish uh there's a lot of stuff just kind of going around in it I, I really wanted it to end a lot sooner it, it felt more i guess cliche to me i guess i've seen more of this type of trope where it seems like you know oh, they're kind of uh like kind of against him a little bit there's a point where he gets his cards canceled and they're sort of looking for him and they want him to come in real quick and you don't know if there's secrets being revealed about the organization that he works for and it's kind of a little iffy there ish but there's some things in this that i thought were fine uh you know, like the play that they that they go to where there's everybody's meeting up at, all the bad guys are meeting up at, and he's dropping in on them. Like, that looked interesting. I think that's a real thing. It looked like, you know, cool setup for, like, a little scene to be going on. And I don't know. It's just I, I, Quantum of Solace is almost forgettable. I watched it maybe, like, a week ago, and I feel like I've like forgotten most of the movie. Uh, I remember at the end... There's a huge explosions going on at this place in the desert where the guy is trying to get dictators to do stuff. It's just very, this feels very lackluster compared to Casino Royale. Casino Royale is so simple in its approach where it's just, there's a huge poker game going on with all these people and this one terrorist is going to be there. And so he's good at cards. And so Double Seven goes there and he is and he goes there, and that's that's where most of the movie takes place in that one. This one was a little bit more over the place a bit. It, it just seemed like it was trying to, you know, oh, what's going to happen next here? But then there's this big action scene, and, like, again, it was done fine. A lot of it was fine. I just don't even really care to almost talk about it. Uh, it it's just, this is probably the most forgettable one. So, so by this point, I'll let you know, too. So by this point, I have seen the full Daniel Craig, James Bond films. I just haven't recorded their videos like after I saw them. So I took a little bit and I'm trying to even remember the events of Quantum of Solace and not much is sticking out to me from what I remember. The other films had a lot more sticking out from them. This one was kind of okay. I, I would say it's fine. I'm trying to even remember the Bond. I'm trying to remember the girl that's in it. And I'm blanking entirely uh, on who was even in it. Uh, and there was the the one chick uh, that gets oiled and like nasty. Yeah, that was there. That kind of sucks. Uh, but it was such a weird pace where characters are in the film and then they're gone for most of it. And I'm just like, they reference them again. And I'm like, oh, that person? Oh, oh yeah. They were in, oh, yeah. Huh. Well, that's who that was. It took me a while to even realize that was the one chick that he met earlier that was helping him out that was killed later by the guy. And it was, it was just, eh, eh. I don't know. This one just lackluster compared to the rest. I heard that, I heard that other people felt that way too about this film, that it wasn't really that good. It was probably one of the worst of the Craig Bond ones. He's done five and this is definitely the lowest one, I would say. I have a lot more commentary on the other films. I feel like I have a lot more to say about the other films. I don't have much to say about this one. I just kind of want to forget this one. And I'm just going to leave it at that, actually. Uh, just letting you guys know, first time I saw it, very forgettable. Very forgettable. Have a good one.